Uh, and now we are going ahead with the search and information retrieval services. Uh, here we have a group of four services, and we would like to jump into cross-lingual search that will be presented by Christian from Sibley. Uh, we have created a cross multilingual search. Um, we have APIs for adding and deleting documents out of the uh, index. And we're working with the, our links documents. And based on this uh, index, we can provide a search functionality for the documents. We have the possibility to um, create a complex queries with and or not must also you can provide near functionality you have phrases you can even put it into brackets and so on in addition you can filter your queries for example for certain document types or even for certain metadata which is provided within the metadata in field of the lynx documents and based on this uh, query you create then a, a translated search uh, uh, query will be created, uh, which is then used to in, uh, create index. To give you a little bit more how the whole system of the search is working, um, we go to the next slide, please. So what we are doing, so if you write in, for example, the, our example sentence, maternity leave in uh, Spain and Austria. So if you want to have information, like to have information for this, for Spain and Austria, the first thing is we try to detect the language you have created the query. In this case, um, it would be English. Uh, in a second step, we use already links services to extract uh, information out of this um, text. In this case, we try to find with GEOC uh, or named entity recognition and entity linking um, information. So we're getting, for example, um, Austria, Spain from the uh, services. Um, in addition, if in the knowledge graph there would be maternity leave, uh, we would even retrieve this information that there is an entity out of the knowledge graph. Um, based on the languages we are detecting, uh, the, the, the geolocations we detected, we try to get the jurisdiction you want to search for. Um, here, in, in this case, it's uh, the jurisdiction would be Austria, Spain, as we have looking for Spain and Austria, and in addition, European Union, because it could also be that there is an uh, European regulation for the maternity leave on top of it. Um, and we know that for this uh, jurisdiction here in Austria, for example, we have German, in Spain, we have Spanish, and on the European Union, we can use the original language English for the query, as um, the European texts also are provided in English. Um, based on this, now we create a syntax tree, and this syntax tree is then translated to the different jurisdiction you have. And if you look now below, you will find something like, this is also not the final query, but this is something um, really there. Um, that you will find that we have a query for Lesina di Maria and in Spain, Karenzzeit and the jurisdiction in Austria and maternity leave and uh, jurisdiction for European Union. And in this way, we find all the related documents, even if they, if you are were searching for in another language than the corpus of the document is. So we prevent with this the translation of all the different corpus, which makes too much uh, takes too much time. Thank you. Thank you, Christian. And here, as a as a bonus, we have um, an overview of our um, uh, cast, uh, citizen portal presented by uh, Pablo from UPM. Thank you, Artem. Um, in this, uh, in the context of this project, we have also created a document search service for for, for information retrieval task. Uh, it's, it's presented as a user friendly web portal in which you can ask for different uh, words or uh, terms that um, and also can you can filter with uh, different types of of, uh, of parameters such as the type of the documents, the jurisdiction, or the language. 
but internally it works also uh, and, uh, as a RESTful API and can be consumed by other applications. Um, this this uh, service relies on, a, on, a, on an Elasticsearch uh, document manager and which can handle parts of document as uh, independent ones in the search process. Next slide, please. The um, parameters of the search, the search query can be words, terms, collect, um, collections of the documents that are stored, jurisdiction, language, and parts of another document. Uh, also, in, uh, in in this context, we have evaluated uh, our service, and we are still evaluating uh, with a gold standard created by the Cuatro Casas. This gold standard contains uh, 152 questions related to specific articles of the Spanish Worker Statute. We have achieved uh, very, very good results, and we're still doing experimentation uh, with Elasticsearch, with the estimation process, uh, using synonyms, or even giving more weights to different terms uh, that could be presented in the, even in the query or in the document. 